Hi everyone and welcome to our Thursday prayer and devotional time. God has given us really the privilege of coming to him with all our requests, with all our concerns, with all our issues that we are having in life and then present them to him. God has given us that gift. And his word tells us, God's word tells us, the prayers of the righteous, the righteous person can accomplish much. Listen to James 5, James 5, verse 16. It says this. Therefore, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another so that you may be healed. Now listen to this. The prayer of the righteous is powerful and effective. Now, isn't that what we desire in life, that our prayers are effective? When we put our prayer petitions to God, our requests, that our prayers are effective. That's what we want. Now, back in the Old Testament, in 1 Kings chapter 18, verses 17 through 39, Elijah is a good example of someone who prayed earnestly and effectively he entered into a spiritual conflict with Baal worshipers to prove to Israel that the Lord is the one true God. And Eliza's petitions, his prayer requests, was based on the knowledge of the Lord's supremacy and, his, and, and also an understanding of God's will. So when the prophet prayed, God responded by powerfully answering his prayers. Now, to have an effective prayer life, we must first and foremost be righteous through, saving, through the saving faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. Before redemption, we were sinners under God's condemnation. Listen to, listen to Ephesians chapter 2, verses 1 and 3. You were dead through the trespasses and sins in which you were once lived, following the course of this world, following the ruler of the power of the air, the spirit that is now at work among those who are disobedient. No, verse three. All of us once lived among them in the passions of our flesh, following the desires of flesh and senses. And we were by nature's children of wrath like everyone else. What's interesting, in Christ, we are made new and declared righteous in God's sight. No, Ephesians chapter two and verses four through six, it says this. It says, but God who is rich in mercy out of the great love with which he loved us even when we were dead through our trespasses made us alive together with Christ. Now listen to this. By grace you have been saved and raised us up with him and seated us with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. For our prayer petitions, for our prayer requests to be effective, they must be in alignment with God. We must surrender them to God's will. Now, 1 John 5 says this. I'm jumping all over the Bible uh, for you uh, to prove the point scripturally what I'm trying to say about prayer. Uh, 1 John 5, 14 and 15 says this. And this is the boldness we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us in whatever we ask, we know that we have obtained the requests made of him. So getting to know our Heavenly Father, having a relationship with God Almighty, and getting in alignment with him is really the powerful acts of prayer. And as we grow in our knowledge of him, and as we grow in our faith with God, our prayer requests will increasingly align with his and we match up with him because we are now in relationship with God. Now, with that being said, we want to enter into our prayer time. And these are the individuals that I would like to share with you this morning. Continue to pray for the family of Tom Cradifield. Tom passed away on November 10th last week. And I had the opportunity of talking to Marge and she's doing okay, but she needs our prayers. Also for Steve Lassich, uh, was in Shadyside Hospital. We continue to pray for Steve, 
for the family of Ed Pass, who passed away on November 9th. Her service was on Saturday. We continue to pray for Joyce and her family as well. We also pray for Janine. Uh, we've been praying for a, uh, she, she was a young lady that had a, uh, she was pregnant and also she had preeclampsia. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to say that today she did have her baby. Uh, the baby was taken by cesarean. She uh, is doing well and so the baby is doing well. In fact, her uh, blood pressure is coming down right nicely. So please pray for, uh, pray for Janine in, our, in your prayers. Also, we're gonna uplift Dick and Natalie Berlin, Dick and Pat Push, Bush, Nick Coppage, Dave Morris, Kathy Cosmatine, Steve and Sue Iwanicki, Debbie Rager, Dave and Penny Carroll, Jack and Emma Jean Blair, Joan Nellis, the White family, Chris Scaletti, Michael Scaletti, Ronna Ryman, Obrita Fiok, Bill and Mary Weil, Joe Ramos, Jane Rivers, Carolyn Carroll, Julie Kovacs, Joey Kuznick, Shirley Fabrizi, Kim Keller, Sarah Rowe, Randy, Stephanie Tazak, Charlie and Della, and Fred uh, Roach, Bob and Mary Zacharias, Mike Kalava, uh, Straw uh, So Ronoff, and Dr. Matthew Harris, Sue Charneski, Beth Tyson, Will and Martha Ashbaugh, and Pam Skelf. So we uplift them in prayers, and my prayers are for all of you as well. And we pray that uh, God would continue to bless you and, and, and uplift you in all that you say and all that you do. Also remember that this Sunday is, uh, we're celebrating Christ the King Sunday, and it's also we're celebrating Thanksgiving Sunday, and also we're taking eight new members into our church, and we thank God for that. And also on Sunday, we're going to be decorating the church for Christmas. And then following um, all of this at 7 o'clock at Christ the King, at St. or I'm sorry, at St. John's Catholic Church, uh, we'll have our Thanksgiving service. And all of you are welcome to come. And I'll be per participating in the service. And I know it'll be a, a day of uh, truly Thanksgiving and praise. Will you join me in prayer? Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day and we thank you for another day of living life, for an opportunity to serve you and, and be in relationship with you. And right now, Father, we pray for all the names that we have ca I've called out. Touch them and bless them. And for the unspoken prayer requests, we give to you as well. Bless our church and bless all those who, around the world that as we come into this Thanksgiving season, that they may also give thanks to you. And we are thankful for your son, Jesus Christ. Bless us, dear God, as we continue our journey with Jesus. And may we also, with, with adoration, praise, and thanksgiving, bring honor and glory unto you in all that we say and all that we do. Will you join me in the Lord's Prayer? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. God bless all of you, and I will see you Sunday.